Hello folks, I'm Kent and welcome to another edition of BC Renovation Magazine. In this video I'm going to show you uh, how the electrical system in a mobile home works uh, and some of the updates that we've done to this almost 30 year old uh, mobile home to, to bring it up to uh, modern standards and modern conveniences as far as, as electrical goes. Uh, I'm going to show you what's inside this electrical panel that you will see in your home. Uh, we're going to take a look inside of that. Uh, I'm going to show you how to uh, make changes to the uh, electrical system in a, in a mobile home uh, to do it easily and uh, cost effectively. Um, I'm also going to take you down the crawl space and kind of show you uh, uh, that part of it, you know, what we had to do underneath there as well. So. I'm going to turn the camera around and uh, we'll get started on this. Okay, so we've done several things to this home. Um, like I said, you know, this home is a, this is a 1992. And also, you know, since it's a mobile home, uh, you know, the electrical in here was basically kind of basic. Um, you know, there's lots of little things, you know, as far as lighting and, uh, you know, other little sort of, we call them, I guess, creature comforts that, you know, it's nice to have. And if you have those, it just gives your home a more upscale feel and, uh, you know, it just makes it, makes it more comfortable and makes it nicer. So I'm going to tell you, you know, how we, uh, kind of did some of those updates in the home here. This isn't going to get into, I'm not going to get into a lot of how to here, but just kind of show you what we did so that you know if you want to do something like this to your home you kind of have an idea where to start so i'm going to begin here by explaining to you how the electrical system in a mobile home works it's a little bit different than in a house and uh, so uh, basically we'll uh, we'll start where the at the electrical box and that's where you know kind of the heart of the system so you can see this pipe in the floor so that pipe comes up from underneath in the crawl space and inside of that piece of conduit, that, that piece of pipe is called a piece of conduit, we have uh, uh, the main electrical, uh, outlet, uh, main electrical supply that comes in from the, uh, from the park. Um, that runs underneath the uh, mobile home and it comes up through that pipe and it comes into the electrical panel there you can see it and then this is the main breaker and then inside the we have the we have this is the distribution panel so from here it's uh the, the electricity is you know dispersed to various parts in the in the house so this is a uh, 32 circuit panel and it's a 100 amp service which is pretty typical you know for a mobile home and what we've done here is uh, we've we've added some circuits so uh this this circuit here was added and this is for the air conditioning so this home didn't have air conditioning before so we have a separate uh, 20 amp two pole circuit for that uh, we've also added a, a circuit down here for some security lighting and another outside uh outlet that we have in the back of the home uh, and i'll take you outside and kind of show you some of those uh upgrades that we've done outside as well and then we have down here we have a uh an outlet that's going to be going in the kitchen peninsula uh, and we have another one here that's we added another counter plug and so these are the the circuits here that we've added and then you know the rest of these circuits here are just you know your typical lighting your range and all those kinds of, of things so in a mobile home the wires are all go they all go up and they go into the attic space and there you can see all those wires that go up Everything that's going up is original. All the ones that are coming down through here are ones that we have added. So you can you see you can see that we've added five uh, five runs here. Now the reason that they run everything through the top is because it's easier. So originally there was nothing running down. So you can see how we run the uh, the wires down you know from the panel. Okay, and then we go down, we've drilled through the floor. Okay, and then we're going down into the crawl space. And from there, uh, we go through the crawl space and I'll show you underneath how that looks to get to wherever we want it to go. So for example, we have this one circuit that we put in the back here for a outside plug. 
So from the panel, we've come underneath and we've come up through that plate, right? And there's our plug from the inside that's on the outside. And then we've also taken off and we have our security light off of that. That's the only thing that's on that circuit. Okay, so you can see how we, you know, we opened up the wall here and in order to get access for that, and we just drilled a hole through there and you know, push the fishing rod down through there and to bring our wire across. Then we had to go up through the wall, behind the drywall, okay, up to there. You can see where I've got the patch on already. And on the other side of that is where the security light is. So, you know, we, we that's why, you know, we have to get all this done before, you know, before we uh, do our patching on and, you know, taping on our drywall. So, you know, we've done that in a few places, um, you know, to add a security light, add another uh, outlet uh, in the back, we, for the backyard, you know, we've added another outlet up at the front on the deck. There wasn't one before. Um, in here, uh, you know, we've... Uh, We've changed the lighting here. We upgraded this lamp here. Before there was a uh, fluorescent lamp in here in the old uh, valence that was over this vanity, and so you know we put a we put a uh, a uh, LED. This is an LED lamp, pot lamp. It's going to be over the new vanity. Uh, another thing we've done in here is we have, um, you know, we, we've roughed in here for the uh, the electric for the an electric heated floor. Uh, there was a tub in here before and we've taken that the circuit that was there for the jacuzzi tub, the jetted tub, and we're going to repurpose that circuit and we're going to use it for heating the floor. Both of the bathrooms have the, uh, the uh, switches on the outside of the bathrooms and so we have changed that by bringing them around to the inside so that when you're in the bathroom you have control of the switches. And here we have the hot water tank, uh, and this is the outlet for the hot water tank. Before it was just a wire that kind of dangled down from the ceiling there. So, you know, we've run it down in the wall, made it nice and neat and tidy. And now when we install the hot water tank, it's going to go into this, uh, this, this is where we're going to hook it up. Down here we have the, uh, this is the plug for the uh, heat tape. And uh, before the, the plug was not a GFI, so we have, uh, put a GFI plug on that to protect the uh, heat tape. And that's, uh, we do that for a fire hazard because uh, heat tapes without a ground fault is a fire hazard. So uh, that is an important upgrade there. Now we've also gone through the whole home and, and you know, taken out all of the old uh, switches and plugs and, you know, we've changed to this Decora style. Uh, usually I don't, do that part of it until after I've done the painting, you know, the first coat of paint on the walls. But it, in this one, we had quite a few electrical issues that we had to get sorted out. And so I just wanted to make sure that, uh, you know, we had everything correct before I started, you know, finishing these walls. I didn't want to have the chance of having to go back into a wall. So here, you know, we've just relocated the washer plug and the, uh, the dryer plug to work with our new modern machines. Okay, and so this here is a switch that we added for the security lamp. And so here you can, again, you can just see how, you know, we've run these wires in, be, in be behind the drywall. And so here you can see how we just, you know, opened this up and there's the, there's the wires coming up, you know, from underneath. All right, so we did quite a few upgrades in the kitchen. This kitchen was not great for electrical. Um, we had, it was very minimal uh, electrical in here. Uh, the lighting was terrible. Uh, basically there was one hanging sink lamp over there and the dining room fixture, and that was it for lighting in here. So this, this will be the dining room fixture here. Uh, so we wanted to upgrade the, the dining, the uh, kitchen electrical lighting the lighting part of it. So now we have uh, a uh, outlet here. This is going to become a pendant lamp, probably with three drops, three or four drops. And you know, I put a switch in over here for this. Okay. And so here, in order to get the wire from that switch up and over to this lamp, um, I had I went up through the ceiling. And that was just very simply. You can see how I've you know opened up the wall here. All right. So the power. Power for that light comes up from the bottom there, all right? 
comes to the switch, okay, and then we go up. We cut holes there. I think you can see the, the patches, the, the wire, you know, snakes up through there. And then we just pull it in, push it in up over the drywall, and then down, you know, for that lamp there. These recess lamps here, um, we just utilized the old sink light, the power from the old sink light and the switch, and just, you know, added these lamps. Here again, we had to jump over from the bulkhead over to this bulkhead in order to get this lamp. So now these are all on the same switch here. So we really improved the lighting in, in here. It's going to look much nicer with this, this uh, modern lighting and, you know, more lighting. Okay, so now here, um, we've, we've changed the cabinet layout a little bit. And this is the fridge plug. So the fridge was over here. So we had to relocate this to get this behind the fridge. We didn't want the, the, the plug, uh, you know, exposed. And so this area here is where it was before. And so I just opened this up and swung it over uh, to get it behind the fridge. The original cabinets had a, uh, a cabinet on this side of the fridge. We're not going to have a cabinet on this side of the fridge. You can see here where the fridge, this is where the fridge is going to be. So what we've done, there was an outlet right here. You can see I've already patched over it, but there was a, an outlet here with a dedicated circuit for the microwave oven. So we've eliminated that, that box there. There'll be a, a panel here on the end now for uh, support the cabinet and uh, close the end of the fridge. So originally this home had a hood fan right here. The outlet came here. Had a, just a regular hood fan over the, uh, over the range. And uh, those hood fans don't draw much power, and so they just put them on a, a circuit with the lighting. So since we're relocating the, we're going to go with an over-the-range microwave here and vent uh, hood fan. And so we, since we relocated the microwave from over there to over here now, we had to get a wire over here now to have a dedicated circuit for the microwave. Now lots of people will just use that old hood fan thing and they'll run their microwave off of that. And so then you have a situation every time you, it, first of all, it's not to code. And then, but if you do it and get away with it, then every time you run your microwave, the lights dim. It's just not great. So we, what we've done is we've taken our circuit that we already had for the microwave, pulled in a new wire. And so now here we've uh, repurposed that circuit that was on the microwave over there, over to here. So this is on its own circuit, new wire. All right. And that just, you know, Again, runs underneath and we brought it up through the crawl space, up through, you know, that hole down there and it comes up and this, this one right here, oh, where is it? Uh, this one, is it this one? Yeah, this one here. This was the old microwave and so we just got rid of that old microwave wire and so now this is the new over the range OTR uh, that's wired in here. Okay, yeah, let's see. So this uh, kitchen originally had only two plugs in it. So there was this one on the little counter beside the range. And then there was this one that is like way behind the sink. This is going to be the sink here. And so, you know, really that, that one there is pretty useless. Uh, so, you know, this kitchen effectively had one, one plug. So we wanted to improve that, uh, you know, with all of the appliances and stuff that people like to use nowadays. So what we did was uh, we added this plug here. So again, this plug is on its own circuit and that's one of the breakers that I showed you over there. Again, we took, we went down through the wall, you know, down into the crawl space and then over to the panel. Likewise, we've done this one here. We're going to have a peninsula here. And so you can see here where I have this, uh, this green rod, this wire, this is a new wire down here that has been brought in. And this is going to be ultimately going to be a, an outlet on the end of the peninsula. So you'll be able to set up a, an appliance on the peninsula here and be able to plug it in here. So, you know, big improvement with the, uh, with the plugs in, in, in this area. There was a lot of work in the kitchen here to get this all up to date. And of course we, you know, put the new furnace in, so we've got, uh, we didn't put a new breaker in there, but we ran in a new thermostat, so we have a new thermostat for that now. Uh, 
part of the process of the electrical was to update all of the telecom wiring. Uh, so this here was an original uh, telephone outlet box and uh, it just had the you know the original 30 year old skimpy little telephone wire in there. Uh, so we've upgraded that to a Cat 5e cable that goes back to the uh, telephone box on the outside of the home again through the crawl space. Uh, this home will have no wires stretched around the outside of it like a lot of them do. This home did. Uh, I took about like miles of wires off the outside of it, you know, that it just been added and added and added and added. So now it's very clean on the outside. And it'll stay that way. Over here, this is our main, kind of our main uh, telecom box right here, the orange one. And inside of that, we brought uh, coaxial cable. We brought Cat5e and we brought a fiber optic cable. Uh, all to this point and these all go back to the respective boxes. So in, in our area depending on which uh, provider you use we have uh, Shaw um, They will use the coax if you go with Telus in our area Then you can use either the cat 5e or the fiber optic depending on you know, which which you, which plan you purchase Okay, and uh, we so I'll take you outside here in a bit and show you the outside electrical upgrades that we did but uh, this basically we did some outside lighting so this is a, a new new uh, switch that we put in here for the uh, recessed lamps outside okay and again here we had a real goofy uh, hanging fixture here in the corner so we've uh, you know put this uh, used reused that uh, electricity and stuff that was to that old light and we've put in this uh, LED recess so now that uh, it'll shine down here on a little hall table piece of art that you want uh, all of this stuff here was was this is the uh, this is a dehumidistat this is a smoke alarm up here that was all over in this area here so we have moved this over to free up this area again for you know to for decorating so you know this is the front foyer uh, we wanted to make this so it's nice when you come in here again in this bathroom, these switches were on the outside the wall, so they were they were on this side. Um, we've moved them inside now, so that you can be in here and not have people flipping switches on you on the outside. Again, another little bulkhead that we did, repurposing the electrical that was there for a very ugly fluorescent light. Okay, and uh, you know this room is just basically uh, nothing, nothing here, but. Uh, the you know nothing much different but uh you know the uh, this home uh, people had been working on the electrical before and you know we had outlets that weren't working and we had uh, people there was neutrals being used for hots and uh you know it was a little bit getting a little bit technical uh in that aspect but basically it was it was it had to be fixed and so you know we uh, took a bit of time and we got this all fixed and so now everything is proper and you know we're just ready now to kind of install fixtures when we get to that point so now i did uh, most of this work in here by myself uh when it's your own place and my name is on the title so i can uh, do my own electrical work I, i'm not doing this for anybody per se so uh you know i'm in our jurisdiction i'm allowed to do my own work and uh, so I do it and uh, you know I have based on experience before I don't always do my own but the electrical changes in this home would have cost me between four and five thousand dollars you know all, all considered um, to you know get to the point that we see it here from what it was uh, I'm looking at uh, you know just under a thousand dollars with you know permit and everything else uh, you know I still have to take a permit and uh, you know it has to be inspected and everything so there's permit costs and material costs and things like that but you know by doing this myself I saved you know you know three three thousand thirty five hundred dollars just by doing this myself now you know that being said if you're not comfortable with uh, you know doing electrical work uh, that's something you shouldn't do but this gives you an idea of you know how how much things should cost and how you go about putting in new electrical in a, in a mobile home. A lot of people, a lot of electricians will come here and won't have a clue, like how are you gonna do this? Uh, how, do, how are you gonna add a plug? How are you gonna you know, change something uh, when the electrical is all up in the ceiling? Uh, so you know, this is how you do it. You work through, you work from the bottom. 
Okay, so I'm going to take you outside now. We're just going to do a little walk around uh, to show you some of the things that we've done on the outside, and then I'll, uh, I'll take you into the crawl space. Okay, so this is the area where the power comes in, and the power comes in from that meter shed across the street, comes in under the road, and it comes into this box. From this box, it goes into the crawl space over underneath and then up to the uh, main distribution panel which is way down there these two other gray boxes here are telecom boxes so this is the one that uh, the, the company called telus here will use this is the fiber optic and the cat 5b is in this box and then this is the the shaw cable box so this is a, a cable a coaxial cable that comes in the other ones are fiber optic so then what we've done is we've roughed in behind these boxes to those other, uh, to the outlets that we showed you before inside the home. So outside what we did here, try not to slip here, it's slippery. So that, la that lamp up there um, was there. Yeah, all we did with that one is we relocated it. A little bit to make it you know fit better with the design of the home and then the other uh, lamp up beside the door the other black lamp there was over on this wall this lamp here was over here and so you know it was kind of like shining over there uh, so what we did is we relocated that lamp to this position over here. Originally, that outlet that you see there is that was the only exterior outlet for the whole home. Um, it's on its own circuit, which is uh, you know it's supposed to be, and so that's a, a plug that you would use to you know run a electric lawnmower or you know plug your car in if you have a block heater. We don't use block heaters here, but you know it's a, it's a dedicated outside um, outside outlet. Uh, so what we wanted to do was have some power up here on the deck in case you wanted to do something on the deck here with power. So we we added this one, and this is you know just for the sake of convenience. So again, all of these outside plugs are ground fault uh, plugs. And then we added we added the uh, recessed lighting. Let's put the switch on here. So when we over, when we added the overhang, that gave us the opportunity to add these recessed lamps. And again, these are LED. And so you know we installed those way back before we. You know, did this, our siding and stuff because we had to run wires up in the in the soffit there to get down to the to the uh, outlet inside or the switch inside. So these, you know, these are our changes that just bring it all up to more modern and more upscale. All right, and then around the back here, because this is the backyard. Um, so you know if you have uh, electric lawnmower or anything that you that you want to use back here you know before you had to like run your cord all the way up to the front uh, that front outlet it was really inconvenient um, I was using electric lawnmower here while I was uh, you know working here last summer and I was opening the bedroom window and running my cord into the into a plug on the inside in the master bedroom there so you know, in the backyard here, we want to have a we want to have a plug. So here we have put in a uh, GFI on its own circuit right here. So now we have good power here to cut grass, you know, whatever. Um, and we added a security lamp up there. That's a motion sensor lamp. Okay, and then back on the back porch here. We just retained the old, the old, uh, you know, the original lamp here. We just put a new lamp on. This is all LED. Again, you know, we, we try to make everything as efficient as possible when we when we do these. All right, so we'll take you down on the 
crawl space and just kind of show you a few things down there. Okay, so there you can see this is the uh, air conditioner condensing unit. So, you know, from that red uh, circuit breaker that I showed you in the panel, that wire comes to that uh, that box that's on there, and uh, you know that's the electrical disconnect. So that's all new that was installed for the uh, for the uh, condenser. All right, so now we're inside the crawl space here, and so a bit tight in here. So you can see this big black cord on the ground here. So that's the main uh, electrical cord that's coming into the home here. And that goes out, you know, all the way underneath and to the front of the home where I showed you that, that box on the outside. So if, you know, it follows along there and it goes into that box and then comes back and here, you can see the gray conduit sticking through the underbelly there. That's where it goes up to the uh, panel. So right above that is the panel. So there you can see our new wires that we've pulled down for all of our new things. Uh, you know, there's uh, five wires there. So we've got, you know, some white ones and some red ones. So the red one is the uh, heavier wire for the air conditioning uh, condenser unit. That's a 20 amp wire. Okay, and you know, so all we've done is you know come down through the underbelly the way I showed you up on top there, and then we just follow along. Here we've stapled it to the to the floor joists up above. All right, and then just you know run through our various to our various places where we're you know, wherever we had to go. And when we get to wherever we had to go, we just pop up through uh, you know through the through the floor. Okay, so that's kind of, uh, you know, things in a nutshell here of things you can do to upgrade your home and uh, kind of how you go about it. So, you know, some electricians are good at this kind of stuff, you know, renovating. Some don't have a clue. Uh, you know, some guys are just strictly for new stuff and that's it. But, uh, you know, if you get a sharp electrician or, you know, you can figure out some of these things yourself uh if you hire an electrician you know you're you're paying 100 120 dollars an hour around here for them so you know if you if you can run all these wires like just pull them you don't have to do the connections but if you can be the one to run around underneath and work with your electrician if he'll let you do that uh, you know you can be the one that's underneath here scooting around you know pulling all these wires um you know you can see i don't know if you can see that far but there's more you can see where the wires have gone across we've stapled to that beam across there you know, this just takes, you know, this is just, you know, just manual labor to get this stuff pulled through. And, uh, you know, you can save a lot of money, you know, either working with a, a, an electrician or if you have someone that will do that for you or, you know, just doing it yourself. So thanks for watching, folks. Um, really appreciate you uh, taking your time to watch these videos and comment and hit that subscribe button. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.